Hi everyone, so basically this video tutorial is about how to implement the SIG bar into your project. Okay, so this is the SIG bar UI. So when I play, uh, it is supposed to progress according to the duration of the song. Alright, and uh, you can also scrub the SIG bar to the desired location and you will play from there and then when you go to the next song the sit bar is supposed to start from the beginning alright so all the work is supposed to be done uh, inside the layout file activity underscore play underscore song.xml and then all the java codes Okay, they are all supposed to be residing in play song activity .java. right so I am going to the okay the playlet right so I can do a find right so this is a sit bar so I'm going to drop uh, one instance of the sit bar onto here okay so uh, okay so you you can extend to the desired width it's up to you Right, so here I'm going to constrain uh, to the start and to the end, and okay, and I'm going to put to zero so that my sit bar is going to be centralized horizontally, and then uh, I'm going to constrain my top to the bottom of the text. Okay, so maybe with about sixty-eight pixels. Right, so this is a sit bar. Okay, next I'm going to the play song activity. Alright, so uh, as I need to access the sig bar, so therefore I'm going to declare a variable of the sig bar, okay, as a class variable, so that uh, all the other methods will have access to that variable which is pointing to the sig bar. Okay, so sig bar, right? So do not try to type in the whole word so use the IntelliSense because as you use the IntelliSense it is, it is going to bring the necessary class for you automatically so sigma so this is the name of my variable sigma right that will do so next I'm going to point my sigma find view by ID okay r dot ID dot and okay i'm not sure whether the i yeah okay so that is the default name uh, default id when i drop that zip bar widget into the layout okay so this is the one right so from now on all the manipulation of the zip bar is through uh, this particular variable here right so the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, increment or we want to progress the zip bar when the music start playing okay we want to progress the sit bar according to the duration of the music clip okay next is that we want to uh, have an ongoing interval so that uh, as the interval is repeating right we are going to check the uh, what is the time elapsed for the music clip and therefore we are going to update the sit bar so we can't use the normal time interval in Android. Uh, the reason is because if we use the normal time interval, okay, it is not able to access the main UI track. So uh, we have to use uh, this way. Okay, so we have, we have to use the runnable object. So runnable equals to new runnable. Right. So you can think of runnable is something like. Uh, it's like a more com complicated uh, time interval okay so this runnable has the ability to access the, the, the objects in the main UI track alright so over here uh, probably I will just do a testing I'm, I'm going to just log D and then I will just put a tag as to masik and then here is uh, I will just put running alright Okay, so semicolon. Alright, so how do we uh, start off this this particular interval? Right, so basically, uh, 
I'm going to uh, use an object called handle. Okay, so we need to have an object. So handle. Okay, I will just call it hand handler equals to new handler. Right. So as soon as we start playing the song, we want to call that runnable. So playing music is here, right? Okay, so what, what I want to do is I want to handler.post delay, right? Uh, calling the calling the p bar, which is the runnable instant, and then uh, one 1000 millisecond okay so what this line of code means is that I'm going to activate the runnable but after one one second has elapsed right so after the music play after one second I'm going to call the runnable so let's see whether is it true so let's run it okay let's go to the locket and I'm filtering by Tumasic Right, so it's still compiling. Okay, so it is up, so I will just tap on any of the image. Right, I click on play. And then after one second, you can see this message is coming out. Right, this message is coming out. Uh, but you can see that it is not repeating. Right. So what we have to do is, uh, when runnable is being executed, we want to, okay, we want it to call itself again. All right. So we can use back the same command, handler dot post delay, and then this meaning uh, to run this runnable. This refers to this runnable, and same thing. Okay, at the interval of uh, one second right so uh, the handler when I click on the start the handler call this runnable after one second and then it's going to uh, print out running and then it's going to run this command and it's going to wait for one second and you will call itself again so this this thing is going to repeat perpetually all right so let's take a look Okay, so I'm going to tap on the image, click on play. So after one second, it's going to call this runnable, and this runnable is going to call itself after one second, and then it will call itself again after another second and another second. All right, but watch what happened. Okay, when I click pause, and then I click play again, right? This thing becomes okay. Uh, becomes very frequent so the reason is because uh, we are we are calling this many times so there are so uh, there are many uh, calls to the runnable okay and each one of them is going to so-called interject one another so what I should be doing is before I actually call the call the uh, call the runnable what I should do is I should make sure that I remove any existing uh, calling of the runnable. So I, so this line is to remove any existing calling of the runnable, and then I do, and then I call the runnable again. All right. So let's take a look now. All right. Let's clear it. Okay. So no matter how many times I click the play pause, uh, the runnable should run at the interval of one second. Right, so it's running at interval of one second. So even when I click pause or play, okay, it's, it should be running at one second. So let me clear the bin. All right, so seems to be okay. Okay, so now that our runnable is running correctly at one second interval, 
So next thing is we want to match uh, the length of this zip bar to the actual duration of the whichever audio clip is being played, right? So what we can do is we can go to the start here, alright, and then we can say yeah. So we can put in this line, zip bar dot set max. Okay, so let me just do it again. Zip bar dot set max okay that means the maximum uh, length for this sig bar and it will be player dot get duration all right so basically now this length will represent the duration of the song so next we want to control the progress as the audio is playing so over here okay we can take away this this lock so sig bar dot set progress player dot get current position okay so that should do the trick so let's run it all right so choose a song So at this point, even though the audio clip has ended, uh, but the runnable is still running, okay? And the current position is towards the end, so that's why you see the seat bar uh, is still showing here. I think this app is going to crash, crash when we uh, traverse to the next song. Alright, so, so it did not, okay? But uh, there's a poss possibility that it crashed because when I go to the next song, uh, what actually happened is that I actually queue off the player. That means I set the player to be now, right? And if this runnable during that time happened to uh, run the code, then we are going to run a method on the now object and this is going to crash. Okay, so what we should do is we should protect this line of code. So maybe what we should do is we should say that uh, if player is not now okay and maybe also if player dot is playing right so that we don't want to waste the CPU cycle alright so if player is not now and player is playing then and only then we want to uh, so called hmm, set the progress bar alright so maybe this line should go out alright so something like that so let's see okay let's choose the first song and play it so looks okay it's running so when I go next Okay, so it move. So if I pause, right, it will stop when I go next. Right, so it seems okay. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we want to have the ability to scrub the seat bar. Okay, so now we want to code the ability to scrub the seat bar so that we can play the music according to that particular point. Okay, so for that we need to set a listener so uh, choose this one set on seat bar change listener then you can put new seat bar alright so double click, double click on this one so that all the coding will be generated for you automatically right so you can see there are basically three methods so uh, this is whenever the value change okay so as you scrub Okay, as you move around, it's going to trigger this method. Uh, this is the moment you touch on the, the scrubber, right? It's going to 
call this method and then finally uh, whenever you let go right it's going to call this method so I think the last method is the one that is most suitable so that uh, we can uh, okay whenever the user scrub and then when the user let go on the desired point okay we want to call this method all right so over here uh, I think we can copy this line here right we we'll copy this line okay so we only want to uh, right so if player is playing right then what we want to do is we want to uh, player dot okay seek to right player dot seek to and we want to at this point sigma dot get progress okay so we want to make sure that the player is not now otherwise we are going to crash the app and also the player is playing right then we want uh, we want to run this line which is to make the player play from that particular point whereby the sigma is at so let's try out Okay, choose choose the first song right play so as I scrub so it's towards the end so now I scrub to the beginning okay it seems to be working all right so uh, so what happened when the user press back right so when the user when the when the user press back okay uh, although the app didn't crash but I think it might crash all right so let me press back okay so uh, it depends on the timing because because when I press back okay the runnable may be trying to run all right so uh, what we should do is whenever the user press back and what I should be doing is I should probably uh, put the handler dot remove callback keybar okay yeah so this will make the program more robust so let's run it Okay, looks good. 